everyone and welcome to my new toy repaint video if you remember guys in the very first video of this year it was a Rapunzel doll makeover I asked you to give me some ideas of cool outfits for my mom to make this year and one of the most popular options there in the comments was Rose from the Titanic movie and you know guys you don't need to ask me twice I used to be such a huge Titanic fan I was what 13 or 14 years old when this uh, movie came out I watched it twice in theater that is normally wasn't very typical and normal for me but I really loved this movie so much that I even had posters of Kate and Leo or Rose and Jack in my room even though I think a couple of different posters if I remember it correct and I even think that Leonardo DiCaprio was probably my first uh, teenage Hollywood crash so I really have some special place in my heart for the Titanic and for the characters of Titanic so today we're going to make Rose my mom has already finished the outfit and it looks amazing really amazing the best one ever I cannot wait to show you but first of all we need to make the doll so let's keep this intro very short let's start working of course don't forget to subscribe it's very important likes bells all these YouTube things please do it and now let's start the transformation I will use this doll to work on, somehow her lips and nose remind me of Rose a little bit, so I think she will become a good doll version of the character. Now let's remove all her original features, get rid of her hair and face, because you know every project starts with a clean canvas. Good, the doll is ready, she has some serious stain in here on her face, you can see it, but I think a couple of layers of soft pastels will solve this problem. So I seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and I start the transformation. I'm going for a very natural makeup, blue eyes and very very bright lips.
I've decided to draw the lashes today because the doll has quite deep eye sockets, so I thought false lashes would kind of hide her eyes completely. Okay, the face looks really good, now let's blush her body to make it the same color like the face and you can see that I've borrowed one of the hands from another doll because the original hand was missing. But it's not really a problem here because Rose wears gloves with the look that we are recreating today, so the color of her hands doesn't really matter because I will paint them white in the end of this makeover. Okay, the face and the body look cute, and now let's see how my mom is doing there, working on her outfit. As you realize that already we are making the embarkation day look with this giant hat. I think this outfit is simply breathtaking, and only my mom can make something like this for a tiny Monster High doll, because it has a very, very, very intricate construction. You can see that the stripes on the fabric go in different directions in different parts of the outfit. And you can see now how my mom is combining this pattern to get the same result like in the movie. After making the skirt, my mom starts making the jacket, and the jacket is even more difficult than the skirt, in my opinion, because of the collar, buttons, because of all these purple details, but my mom is going to make it. So, I've got this finished outfit by mail, and it looks breathtaking even before you unbox it. Just check it out, how beautiful it is, really so pretty. So, next to the skirt and the jacket that you've seen already in my mom's video, I've also got a blouse with a tie. Uh, some undergarments and of course an elephant in the room the hat with the bow oh my god really guys this is so 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 pretty really unbelievable I think my mom deserves all the likes in the world this time I would really appreciate it if you show my mom your love with your likes and comments because I really she deserves it more than ever
Really, it looks so pretty. Just wow, I have nothing else to say. So now we need to complete this stunning look with a pair of shoes. And Kate Winslet wore these shoes with this outfit. Very cute, black and purple to match the look. Really love these shoes. So let's make something similar out of Warbler Thermoplastic. Here are the finished shoes, I don't know, aren't they beautiful guys? I'm simply obsessed with her outfit today. So now I still want to make an umbrella. I don't really know why Rose needs an umbrella while wearing such a giant hat, but let's make it. I'm going to use a barbecue stick, a piece of warbler and also a piece of purple organza for it.
will not make this umbrella openable and functionable because it will make it look much heavier. And I want it to look very light and very elegant. And I don't think Rose ever opened her umbrella in her real life, wearing this huge hat. I guess it was just a classy and sassy accessory, but I can be wrong, guys, <laughs> just a suggestion. But I really cannot imagine her using an umbrella while wearing this hat. Here is the finished umbrella. I definitely think it brings some extra class to her look. So now I still need to make her hair and I will use this dark ginger yarn for it. And I will start with turning this yarn into hair and then I will attach it to her head. This is how it looks the next day, so now I'm ready to style it and I'm going for some slightly messy low bun. Okay guys, this is the finished look, I think it's really pretty and now I wonder how our beautiful hat will fit with her beautiful hair and with her face. And I think it looks amazing, <laughs> I'm so happy about it. 
So now I'm going to cover her eyes and lips with glossy varnish, add earrings and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Kate Winslet as a rose from Titanic doll and I think that this is one of the most elegant and breathtaking dolls I've ever made. She looks so classy, so beautiful. Of course, 70% of this wow effect comes from my mom's stunning outfit. This is for sure one of the most difficult outfits she's ever made. So, once again, guys, please don't forget to send her some love in the comments under this video. And also, you can always suggest your outfit ideas if you think you know what dress my mom should make next. There is, by the way, another outfit created by my mom on the way to me, so hopefully you will get another doll made in our collaboration in July. Fingers crossed for quick delivery. And now, guys, it's a little turn of events. Tomorrow, as I'm recording this video, I'm leaving on a cruise to Iceland for two weeks on my own, like a real solo adventure. And I spontaneously decided to take this doll with me. I just thought it would be funny to take Rose from Titanic to a cruise ship. So this lady is going with me. You can follow her adventures on my Instagram and TikTok. So see you there, guys. So and now, guys, please tell me what you think about this project. What was your favorite part? And if you want to buy this doll, she's right now available for sale on eBay for three days. So you can find the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you maybe even next week. But maybe in two weeks. I don't know. I'm working on a couple of different projects right now. So I might finish some of them by the next week, Friday. But it might be also in two weeks. So stay tuned. Subscribe bell all the things don't miss the next video and that was it for today have a nice weekend love you guys bye